But let's hop across to Nimesh. Nimesh, what's your sense today? For the last few days, the FIs have been selling. Could they be better sellers today or sell a little bit less? Well, you know, looks like uh, the flows are quite mixed in today's trade, uh, Nigel. You know, and even yesterday, if you look at the uh, net number for, uh, between FIs and DIs, the DI number was much, much higher than the FIs selling. So, uh, looks like that could be the similar trend today as well. But more, but what more interesting from a flow perspective is that there are a lot of block bids uh, in in the broader market stocks. What I mean is, uh, at least on the on the broader markets, there is institutional interest to buy blocks as well. So that that explains that the mid cap index has also recovered nearly two percent in today's market. I guess the pullback uh, was pretty much given because the market looked technically very oversold and, and there is a bit of short covering as well in the financial limbs today. Uh, the word one on, on the metal limbs explained the, the pressure on metal stocks, but from a flow perspective, I understand even at lower levels, there is buying in the metal limbs as well in today's market. Now with today's pullback, uh, the feedback is uh, from a technical point of view, 24,800 will now act as a very strong support. So need to see uh, that level on the downside if that gets supported. But uh, from, a, from a very near-term perspective, given the, uh, given the technical levels and the fact that we are so oversold, uh, this pullback can continue for the next couple of days. Okay, what about uh, stocks? Uh, what, would, what have you picked up in your chatter? I remember, so in terms of individual names, the first stock is Adani Enterprise. That's been buzzing in trade today. The volumes are on the highest side. And I understand the company is likely to raise funds by QIP very soon. The, the, the QIP was in the works for a very long time. But now it looks like it's pretty much around the corner and the company is going to raise funds by QIP. The second name is Excite Industries. Uh, after a long time, some bit of interest in that name as well. The stock is up 2 percent. The volume is on the higher side. And the city is anticipating some corporate development as well in Excite Industries. Potentially a tie-up on, uh, on their battery business. That's something which the city is anticipating. The third name is Zomato. Uh, there were a couple of upgrades today uh, and comparison to uh, Swiggy uh, before the IPO. And also there are block bids as well in Zomato in, in today's market. So it looks like institutional interest is back in Zomato at these levels. And the last is uh, Godrej Consumers. In an uptrending market today, Godrej Consumer is under pressure on, on back of very strong sell flows. And I understand a leading long fund is an active seller as well. So that explains that uh, that stock is under pressure today. Thank you very much.